Hi everyone, so today I want to show you a number or a function that is possibly the biggest number or the fastest growing function possible. Um, again, again, of course, this is just my opinion and this is kind of also a question for you so that you something that you can think about for a bit. So actually, uh, this is uh, actually not exactly my idea. I saw a comment like a few days ago on YouTube and that comment, uh, that person is saying, uh, you know, of course he's trying to make the biggest number and the comment that, you know, that person mentioned is that the, um, basically I named that m's function which is in this form m of n and what it is is basically the definition is that it is the smallest number bigger than any finite number named by n number of mathematicians in n number of years so let's think about this statement for a little bit i know it's you know a little bit similar to the definition of rayo's number um, but of course it's not exactly the same, you know, it's share, you know, some idea, but not exactly the same. So in my opinion, I think this is not a naive extension or ill-defined, but of course I'm not sure if everyone agrees with that, you know, it has some similar similarities and of course there's some differences. So basically I named this function the m's function in terms of m of n. Um, so for example, m1, what is m1? So m1 would mean the smallest uh, number bigger than any finite number named by one mathemat mathematician in one year. So basically here, um, in, in this case, mathematician is basically somebody, it doesn't have to be like a professional mathematician, like has a PhD in mathematics, it isn't necessary. It's basically any person that, you know, has the knowledge or, or you know, has the ability to define uh, any mathematical function, you know, have the enough uh, knowledge, I mean, knows about Googleology, and maybe someone who knows about the first order set theory i mean at least somebody you know it doesn't have to, have to be professional it could be amateurs so as long as that person can define you know some kind of big bigger and bigger functions you know given enough time you know that would be qualified as a mathematician in this case so m1 as you can tell already i mean if you think about that is already could be way, way, way bigger than Rayo's number already. So because, uh, let's say, you know, uh, Augustine Rayo, the person who created the Rayo's function or the Rayo's number, you know, of course he can be defined as uh, the mathematician in this case. And I'm not sure if he actually used more than one year to define his function. So basically, if he used less than a year to define Rayo's function, that means, um, M1 is already much bigger than Rayo's number uh, because that's basically the smallest number bigger than any finite number named by a mathematician in given a year of time. So, and of course, for me, uh, for this M's function, I kind of, you know, let's say I created a number, let's call it the M's number, and M's number would be equal to M of a Google. So again, kind of like this uh, Rayo's number, you know, Rayo 100 is a Rayo's number and Rayo n is the Rayo's function. So what does this mean in uh, for m a Google? It means the smallest number bigger than any finite number named by a Google mathematicians in a Google years. So just imagine that. Imagine how big that number could be. So... Um, of course, and we know that there's not uh, a Google mathematicians exist right now. Um, but of course, you know, we, we shouldn't apply that logic because in that case, Google, uh, Rayo's number couldn't exist also because there's not enough uh, particles in the universe. You know, there's only 10 to the 80 atoms. So we can ignore that. But let's imagine given a Google 
number of mathematician and we gave them a google years to name any functions or any number they can ever uh create it you know using any uh, actually here again they can use any set order theory or any mathematical language whatever they can use you know only the only limitation is the number of math mathematician and the number of years so imagine a google mathematician given them a google years of course they can that number that they can name is very very big you know of course human existence is only around i don't know a few million years so given a google years they can create something of course way 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 bigger than rails number in fact much bigger than uh any number has, that has ever been named like you know such as the big food or you know fish number seven gardens number those kind of stuff you know but again um this is up to uh you know it is arguable i don't know you know some people may not agree with this because you know they think maybe this is uh, kind of similar to rails function but in my opinion is not but of course i could be wrong and uh, i don't know i think it's not actually ill defined you know because because this again this is kind of like a play of words similar to rails number um we are here we just not we're not playing with like some kind of abstract mathematical notation you know it, it's not something like you know because some some big numbers is just too difficult for anyone to understand but i think this is not uh, so what do you think and of course this function the mn this m function is not computable it's uncomputable just like rails number because then you, you can never create a actual algorithm to calculate uh the m n the values of mn over here and of course you, if you check out my one of my previous video you know some of the values of rails number we know that m let, let's say rail one rail two rail three the result is very small numbers but in here this is kind of different for m1 is already way bigger than rails number so for even very small input n you're already getting extremely extremely big numbers of course m2 would mean uh the smallest number bigger than any finite number named by two mathematicians in two years so I think this could probably be, if you agree with this statement, this could be very well be the biggest number of the, or the fastest growing function ever possible because I don't think you can actually bid this. I mean, it will be very hard to bid this number or function uh, because basically if you say uh, this M100, I mean M a Google plus one, that doesn't count because that's just a naive extension. So anything that is a naive extension, it doesn't not count. So if you say, you know, tree of M a Google, no, that wouldn't count, you know. Um, and of course you cannot change, just simply change the end over here, you know, let's say M, uh, M of tree three, you know, that again doesn't work. I mean, doesn't count. Um, and you cannot use uh, any idea that is very similar to this one. So anyway, this is, can this be the biggest number possible? Think about that and maybe you can let me know in the comments. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.